Your role in securing the nation is paramount, and the government is to do all that is possible to ensure that the Army is well equipped. That is why we created the Joint Maritime Operations Task Force and procured and deployed 14 patrol gunboats in response to the literal nature of our state and the threat posed by sea pirates, militants, and kidnappers within our waterways. He applauded the two brigades in the state for their continuous efforts in maintaining peace, while assuring them of the military's commitment to prioritizing their welfare. I make bold to say that the establishment of the headquarters of the second two brigade in the state has contributed in no small measure to the relative peace experienced in the state. The chief of the army staff, Lieutenant General Tawarid Labaja, who charged the military to be professional in the discharge of their duties, tasked them to pay adequate attention to the safety and well-being of civilians. And I commend our commanders and troops for conducting themselves in the most professional manner as they work with the Nigerian police and civil authorities to effectively control the situation. He highlighted the achievements of the Nigerian army with the support of President Bola Tinibu to include acquisition of ammunition to aid operation in the fight against banditry, kidnap and other social menace, building affordable homes for 3,000 retired personnel, amongst others. Express our profound gratitude to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, his Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for his unflinching support and strategic guidance to the Nigerian Army. The event featured inspection of quarter guard by Pastor Moino and presentation of group life assurance checks to beneficiaries under the Nigerian Army Personnel Welfare. Mary Onyemechi, ADBN.